Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another plan with me week beginning July the 22nd in my classic happy planner, the mod greenery style. Um, so I thought I would go with um, some greenery uh, for my mod greenery planner and I'm using these stickers for keepers stickers that I got a while back on Etsy. Um, and as well as those, I'm also really enjoying using the um, colourful boxes which are the Mambi sticker book and these uh, green and bluey ones seem like they would go quite well but then I thought because that would be quite a lot of green and blue I might just use some of the flowers from my fun florals Mambi sticker book um, probably some from this collect this range maybe like the yellow ones, just to have a pop of a different colour. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't really have a whole lot on this week, as far as I know. Um, so I'm just going to put the stickers down however I feel inclined to do so, as usual, um, and then probably make a big old mess of it. But that's just the fun of stickering. So um, I will whiz through that because I don't know how exciting it is to watch me spend 20 minutes trying to line up colourful boxes inside other boxes um, and then I'll come back at the end. I'm back and this is the finished spread. I actually quite like how this turned out so I think that the colours all kind of work well together and then the yellow just just give it like a nice pop. Um, I put these two yellow flowers down and then I put this one over the um, where it says notes and then I kind of changed my mind and pulled it back up and then I said no I did want it over here. I kind of just wanted it to be on this page because I already had a yellow one on this page um, to balance it out and I didn't want them to be too close to each other and I just didn't have any space <laughs> so I put it there um, and it looks fine. You can still read the word notes through it. I kind of would prefer these plasticky stickers to be opaque. I, I, I prefer the matte paper kind of sticker rather than these transparent ones but it's fine it works and then I just felt like I needed another one up in this corner so I used this one that has a little bit of green in it which is fine because there's green over the rest of the page. I was trying to balance out the blue and the green but it did work out as being there seems to be more blue here and more green here and um, which I didn't mean to do but you know it just happened these things just happen. Um, a lot of my boxes are kind of askew, um, which I don't think is really noticeable until you put them next to each other and then suddenly they just all seem a little bit like they're drunk. Um, but it's fine, it works, and when I write on it, it'll be masked by the untidiness of my own handwriting anyway. Um, and then I quite like these little hexagon stickers. So I just put the to-do stickers next to these like um, checklists which were the actual devil to work with and get them to line up um, properly because they were so skinny and little um, and then on the Saturday and Sunday I think we're just going to have a busy day at home like sorting stuff out so I put busy day on both of those <laughs> um, and uh, I quite like having the little hexagons as well as the colourful boxes um, so yeah I'm quite pleased with that um, let me know what you think in the comments below and um, if you have thought of any interesting way to use the boxes the checklists or anything like that and how you mix boxes with uh, deco stickers let me know in the comments as well if you've liked the video please give it a like and if you'd like to see more please subscribe 